Wyoming's next legislative session is almost here. In less than three weeks, the state capitol will be buzzing with politicians, all pushing legislation. One bill that already has a lot of them talking would bring the lottery to Wyoming. One, two, three, four, five. It's a big money maker. Ten on the mega. Millions of dollars every year in lotto sales. Win big on that mega. At least in most states, Wyoming's not one of them. Here in Laramie County and around the borders of Wyoming, uh, we're seeing a very large amount of uh, cash capital go to these other states to buy lotto tickets. Representative Jim Bird is a co-sponsor of the Wyoming Lottery Bill. Basically, it allows the state to enter into the national Powerball. If passed, half of the money would go to a land trust. The other half would be used for Wyoming's roads and offset the much talked about 10 cent fuel tax. You can use these funds to offset that 10 cents and then roll that 10 cents back to something smaller. Another 10 cents per gallon in gasoline isn't going to fix the roads. Maureen Bader with the Wyoming Liberty Group is against the fuel tax and the lotto bill. It doesn't matter where the money comes from, government has a spending problem, not a revenue problem. She says she's also against gambling. We're prepared to defend our arguments against those who would say that it's not good for the state of Wyoming. A similar bill failed in 2011. It had 27 I votes and 33 no votes. But this year, well, it's anyone's game. The legislature starts on January 8th.